How's it going guys? Sam from Mindac Outdoors here. Today we're going to do a bluegill catch and cook. Um, you guys have been asking for the bluegill catch and cooks. And uh, I got my good friend Ryan hooking hogs here. But anyway, it is a steamy one out today. So we're going to stop at Tropical Smoothie. Get a little smoothie. It is steamy out. Hey, what'd you get? We got the sunrise sunset. Sunrise sunset. Got strawberries, it? pineapple, mango, and orange juice. I got the Bahama Mama. If you guys have never had Tropical Smoothie, straight slaps. <laughs> It's gonna get me through the day. First, we gotta get some bait. Um, I think we're at some local bait shops kind of on the way to Ryan's Pond. And uh, I think we're gonna stop there, try and get some bait. You, you want a kid straw? You want a kid straw or do you want a big straw? Big. Oh, we're doing double vlog here? Oh, shoot! Cheers, boys. Mmm. That is so good, dude. Oh my god. You like yours? Anyway. I'll see you guys at the spot. All right, boys, we made it to this little gas station that has bait, and uh, we're gonna go inside and cop some worms. You guys got some weird worms down here. Oh yeah, we got some weird worms. So, open up. Let's, 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 you gotta open up. You gotta make sure they're good in there. Oh god, yeah, boys. We're, we're gonna get. There's 18 in here. I think that's enough for a couple of little gills. Eh? Yeah. We I mean, don't use a whole worm. We're gonna go check out. Then we're gonna go head to the pond. Oh my god, boys! It is freaking steamy out here! Anyway, we finally made it to the spot. Here's a pond that Ryan says is a juice. As you can tell, grass, 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 grass. All grassed over. There's a little part in the middle that's open. Well, Ryan said we have a boat here, but I don't see a boat. Um, I don't know what the strat is, so Ryan's gonna... I'll try and find the boat. You. I'm gonna go get rigged up and uh, I'll show you guys what I'm using once I get all rigged up. Alrighty guys, I got all my rods rigged up here. I just got this little pink Mimic minnow on, it's a UV color. And then here we got a little little red hook to a little split shot to a little uh, slip bobber going on there. That is usually my go-to stuff for little pan fish. Ryan said they're pretty aggressive so I thought, you know what, maybe I'd tie on a Mimic minnow. And uh, they should munch that. But anyway, we're gonna go try and find the boat and uh, I'll see you guys out on the water. Alright, well... Um, yeah, she's a little tilty. Update, pond is clearer than all clear. Um, we don't have a paddle, so I don't know what the move is. I think, is Ryan just going to paddle us out? I know the move. Ryan knows the move, so. Look at this horse. He's an absolute unit. There's a few leaks in the boat, but that's not a big deal. Finally made it out here. Ryan finally paddles us out with his hands. Here we just got a little pink little UV mimic. I think it's a 1 8 ounce. And uh, we're just going to cast along this weed edge here. Kind of, oh, how deep is this? Eight feet. Eight feet, okay. Just not bad. Fish. So we're just gonna slow roll it, kind of in the middle of the water column here, see if we can't get bit. All right, boys, we just got a little hook here. And a little piece of worm. We're just gonna take it. Kind of. Dang, this worm's really slimy. Anyway, we're just gonna thread it through the hook a couple times, just like that. We've got the bobber stop, of course. Ryan said it's like six, eight feet deep. So we're just gonna set it out. Oh, I don't know, four or five feet, see where that goes. You can just jig it back to the boat, kind of just give it a few pops like this. And uh, usually you'll catch fish like that too. But most, how most people bobber fish is they find a weed edge or structure on the bottom or just something like that to anchor up and then you let your bobber sit there and you sit there like that. But how we're doing it is we're, we're kind of drifting with the wind. We don't have an anchor, so we're just kind of letting it float and dragging her in. Oh. Yeah, I do. Here we go. go. Blue gill. Oh my god, dude. What? Something. Oh, what? Dude, just... A giant, by any means, but it's a nice one, dude. Oh god, yeah, boys. We're gonna be eating good tonight. Drop them in the cooler. Nice. <laughs> what a big one's that, boy? You got one decent one, that's all. There we go. Small one. Dinker. Dink city chick. Dink, dink city chick. I knew that was gonna be a lot. Oh, cheese and rice. Here we go. That might be oh. a better one. Oh, God, yeah, he's an eater. Oh, oh God, yeah. There we go. That's an eater. That's what we're talking about, baby. There we go, boys. That's what we're talking about. Not a bad little one. Probably about mm, seven, eight inches, probably. It's fat, though. Look at look at the stomach. Oh, that hurt. Look at the stomach on that thing. This thing's thick. Got nice colors. Nice little summer bluegill. We're gonna throw them in the cooler with the other one. Join your buddy. <laughs> Woo! I said we do it, baby. Let's go. Uh. Maybe. 
start to make crap. Oh, dude. Was it digging? That was a tank. Here we go. That's a decent oh, one. Oh, yeah. That's a decent there one. There you go. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, golly. Cheese and rice. Just as big. Probably. Yeah, definitely where the big gills are right here. It's in that little deep hole, dude. You know they're big gills and you can lip them, dude. Oh, God, yeah. Slap buddy in the cooler. There we go. Whew. Same spot. I caught two nice keepers out there so far. See if I can't whack another one nice one. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. That's a good one. Nah. Yeah. He won't eat. He's small. He's small. But I mean, still better than those small ones. Yeah. We'll let Buddy go. He can survive another day. Let him go, let him go. Oh, God. And he's back in the water. We need Gilzilla. Oh, God. Oh. What was that, dude? I think it was a tank. Oh, oh God. God dude. What? Did it just murk my bobber? You caught one on a bobber, dude. It ate my bobber. Dude, it literally ate my bobber. No way. There's, there's no way this is happening. There's no way this is a bluegill, right? It's gotta be a bass. Oh, dude, God. A dude, there's a giant bass. What is going on? Wait, did he not eat my bobber though? Dude, he straight up ate my bobber, did he not? No, he ate your lure. Oh God. That's a tank. Oh God. But something ex oh, he came off. Something exploded in my bobber though, dude. Did you see that? Yeah, that was weird. Dude, some he literally just murked your bobber. Or something. He literally came out of the water and murked my bobber. Did he not though? Yes he did. What the heck? One did. That was a decent one too, wasn't it? Did he hit it like right when you hit the water? Yeah, he did. I think I landed like right on dude, top of him. Be slapping him on frog right now. Oh, yeah, I think I landed like right on top of him, so it's just kind of like yeah. a reaction kind of thing. I'm literally standing in a lake, guys. Yeet. Here we go. Danker. Okay. Danker. I mean, he'll eat. Oh, yeah, he'll eat. He didn't feel that big, though. Shoo wee, boys. Look at that. Not a bad one. He's, he's a little small, but. For how many we have right now, uh, we'll, we'll throw them in there, might as well. We'll throw them back out there. Early, right in the middle. Right now. Oh, there we go. That's not a bad one. There we go. You get another one? Oh yeah, this one will eat. He's a good one, dude. He's not a tank, but he's just as big as the other ones. There we go. Not another, that's a decent one too, dude. Dude, they're all in the middle. Oh, that's a bigger one. That's a better one, dude. They're out in the middle, old son. You were right. How'd you know? Oh, God. Dude, that thing is a freaking beefcake. Here we go. He's small. Oh, it's a little bass. Hey, boys. We're hooking hogs with hooking hogs. Digging? Bass? That's not a bass. Oh god, he's oh, pulling yeah. the boat. Dude, what is this? It's gonna be a crappie, dude. Actually. Oh god, it's oh, a giant yeah. crappie, dude. Yes. Oh my god. Go! Oh. My life, dude. That was a 17. That was a toad, bro. What are we. Oh my god. That was a freaking giant, Boy. dude. You still have him, oh dude. Did he bite what? it again? No, no, no. What? No, that was terrible, dude. Wait, what? What? Did he bite it again? Yes. Stop. He bit that again. Yes. Well, my GoPro is about to die, and I don't have an external battery with me. Um, so I guess if I catch another fish, I'll just show you guys on the big camera. But um, I just caught, or he lost that giant crappie. So I'm gonna switch up to this mimic here, see if I can't catch one myself. It, this looking like a gill, dude. Oh God, that's a Goliath, oh, yeah. dude. That's that giant we were looking for. That's oh, a beefy just one. as the GoPro is about to die, dude. Hoo wee, boys. Alrighty, we just got done fishing. Ryan ended up catching that tank crappie and a big bluegill. Um, so basically we got like, I think it was like 
roughly around six to eight keeper bluegills in that one crappie that Ryan kept. But anyway, it ended up being a good day. Um, it's a beautiful evening out. Look at this. Beautiful. No wind. Ryan the Montagne in the background. Anyway, we're going to go head back to the bird's nest. And uh, we're going to mess around with Austin and John a little bit. See if they want to have a little fish fry. And uh, we're going to cook these bad boys up. I'm going to show you guys how to clean them. So I'll see you guys there. Ow. Oh, that's lovely. How are you There's only one. Oh, wait. Brother's asleep. John's asleep? Yeah, he went to bed at 8.52. Hey, bud. You want to see something cool? What'd you get? Is this full? Open it up. Open it up. Oh, gosh. Frogs? I'm open frogs. Oh, I don't no, know. sorry. Oh my goodness! No way! This is huge! Yeah, who can cut that? I've never seen one this big. Yeah, it's monstrous. He had a bigger one on, but lost it. Is this it. like 11 inches? No, that's 14, 15, 14? Wow. 15 probably. Yeah, he had a 17 inch on. Really? Yeah. Broke off though, or what? Yeah, it came off right at the boat. Wow. Should we show John this? Just snap him a picture. I think I think we should walk in his room and show no, him No, he'd beat him up, dude. I'll hold like a paper towel. I won't, I won't get the drippings everywhere. John, you gotta look at this. That's what you got. Holy sh! Is that not huge? Yeah, that's a white crappie, isn't it? I finally made it back to the bird's house. Um, I don't know if Ryan's coming or not. He said he had some things going on, but I don't know. If he shows up, he shows up, but if he doesn't... Oh, I need to mess with Ryan. I, I hope he does. I haven't <laughs> seen that kid in a long time. Anyway, I'm gonna start, uh, I'm gonna start cleaning the fish for you guys. I kind of run you guys through the process and everything, and uh, let's get started. So we got Ryan's crappie here. We're just gonna take a knife. Run it down right through here. You run down to the backbone here, and then you just follow it down. Follow it down to the tail. You get to the uh, ribs here, and you just cut right over the ribs, just like that, as you can see. Just go right over them. As you guys can see right here, we got all the meat back in here. I mean, I may be able to miss a little bit right here, but that's not a big deal. We got most of the important meat right up here and around the ribs. This is what your final product will look like. And uh, we're just gonna take it off the skin here. And blam, boys, here we go. Look at that filet. That is a lovely filet right there. That is a lot of meat. That's gonna be freaking delicious. I'm gonna finish cleaning this up, and uh, that's how we're gonna roll. Alrighty, guys, we just got done cleaning the fish here. Look at those filets, they look pretty good. Over here, we got the fryer. Oh yeah, the oil is ready. We're gonna be using shore lunch. As many of you guys know, I like to use shore lunch. And uh, where's the shore lunch at? It's already out, I got it out. Oh, you got it out for me? There you go, look at this. Ziplock and everything for you. Ziplock and everything, bet. That's what we're gonna be needing. We're gonna need this too. We're also gonna need two eggs for an egg wash. And then we're gonna, I'll show you guys how to do it in a little bit once I get the eggs out. Got the uh, nice fillets here. We're just gonna dip it into our egg wash here. Get it all soaked up. We're gonna do that with all the pieces here. If it doesn't overflow, we got a pretty small bowl here. <laughs> Why'd you get such a small bowl? I don't know. Anyway, that is a strap for right now. I'm gonna go get the shore lunch ready and uh, we'll get started. All right, as most of you guys know, I like to do shore lunch a lot and fry stuff. So basically we just have a basic egg wash here. Just two eggs, we just whip them around. And uh, basically we got our shore lunch in this bag here. We're just gonna flop them in there. And once we get all the fillets in there, we're just gonna give it a good shake and then we're gonna put them in the fryer. We got our lovely fillets here. We just take them out, dump them in the pan there, just like that. Oh, that is a beefcake. We don't need that one. I'll start out small. Because you want the similar size in them. We're going to start out with them. We're just going to take them, dump them in there, put the cover on, and then when they're done, they'll be floating, and I'll show you guys that in just a couple minutes. Ooh, boys, look at these ones. They're, those are These are about to be done. Ooh, look at those. That's the first the batch that got food. done. It, the first batch is done. They're looking pretty juicy. Just to add a little bit of kick to it, we're just going to add some SPG from Cosmos. Just a light little sprinkle will do it. Just going to wait for the second batch to get done. Then we're going to start feasting. All right, I'm just going to get one already, dude. I don't oh, care. You're not waiting for us, huh? No, I'm not waiting. A little SPG on there, boys. Cheers. Oh, God, yeah. This is a bluegill. See how she tastes. Oh, God. That is fire, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. You like it? Did you go bluegill or? I went bluegill, yeah. I went bluegill. bluegill? Okay, I'll go bluegill. Bluegill's the smaller pieces, yeah. There you go. That's farm pond bluegill, dude. Mm. So, so good. good. We're gonna finish mucking these awesome bluegills and coffee. 
If you guys like today's video, make sure you hit it up with a thumbs up. If you guys have any suggestions on what I should be doing next for my next video, should it should it be like another catch and cook or another catfish video, just leave a comment down below. Once again, thanks for watching today's video, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.